welcome. Welcome to What Is Real. Today our topic is about loyalty. So what are we loyal to? There's only one thing in this entire world, universe, that we are loyal to. That is ourselves. Let's be very real now. Because regardless of what team we are on, what family we are part of, at the end of the day, we're always going to do what we want to do anyway. And it doesn't matter what anybody says. We're going to do it anyway. But for the people that do stay loyal and are loyal to their team and their family and their business or whatever the case is, these same values we need to bring to our universal level, world level. Get everybody on one page. Get one currency, one tax, you know, exports, imports, shipments. Get it all on one page, one, one form. You know, make it as easy, as simple as possible. You got like 10 billion different forms and certifications and passports and all kinds of shit going on out here. Why not just simplify it and just start from one and go all the way to forever? And that'd be cool for the future kids and people that can go back and see, oh man, I'm infinity and this number. <laughs> yes. So let's bring those loyalty traits all the way out to the forefront and let's change this well we don't have to change it let's improve it it's all about process improvement continuous improvement in every day of our lives and every aspect of everything and that way we'll have a six sigma world completely optimized and everyone's eating b straight up so thank you everybody so i'm more rich i'm the host and if you guys want to be a guest on the show or send some instrumental or a song or you say what's up contact the social networks or email the gmail We'll be right back with our first guest, so we'll get this started. <laughs> oh, that's that shit I don't like, no. Sneak this up, that's that shit I don't like, no. want the money, I'll chase the money and just be over broke. If I want the fame, I'll chase the fame and be a one day joke. If I want the Hall of Fame code, I need real patience and maturity. It's as a metal boat to float the shore and claim my thoughts for the clones. With this modula obligata, rejection is part of the game. No shame in it. Just don't quit. Then you a bitch and never get rich. What is rich? You decide. Besides, what else is there to do? Now that I understand more, Simple. Then we get Mo. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message.
bad enough to move to LA with a net of $300 and with no home and no job. But that's not the point. The point is how to live anywhere in the world and chase your dreams living paycheck to paycheck. Basic essentials. Peanut butter. It's heavy on your stomach and it lasts long. Birth certificate. A cell phone, of course. A gym membership to take showers and stay fit. Get a job ASAP to have some money. Anything will do starting off. A driver's license. A social passport. Not really required. And bread to eat your peanut butter with. And lastly, a car with car insurance. Because the chicks are so lovely, you get into a wreck and it's not your fault. Welcome back everybody. Today our MCM is Mr. Jeff Bezos. He is the founder of Amazon, owns the aerospace company, and the Washington Post. But that's not even the story. The story is that he started this off as a toddler. He was building stuff up and breaking stuff down. And that's where he gained his perfectionist mentality. There, the rest is history. Now he's a billion, making moves. So the point of the story is we have to teach our kids to become perfectionists at young ages so they can have this mentality for the rest of their lives and become great. So we can all use Mr. Bezos as a great example of someone that learned as a kid perfectionist mentality which carried him on for the rest of his life. So thank you Mr. Bezos. So I'd like to give a shout out to all of our guests and participants. We really appreciate it. Everybody have a great Tuesday. See you guys on Wednesday. And one last thing. I don't want the itches. I want the riches. I am Mo Rich. And I am never ignorant. Getting goals accomplished. My niggas! Epic proportions and give me the solution to the algorithm, man. These rhymes, man. The best rapper alive, man. Nah, man, that ain't me. I'm not a rapper or actor. I'm just an X Factor. Affecting lives like Mr. White's special plan for the land. Oh, but what's his end game though? Now they asking me the same question. So I'm questioning what is real. Not Mo? Ha! Ah, now that's a laughing matter. So what matters? Does it matter? Probably not. Hey Q, let me stretch out your knots. She's such a doozy and better than Susie, but loves Lucy. Fuck Lucy, it's okay, I am the Lucy. I love Lucy, so much I hate Lucy. So the rest of my thinking, I'm the Flash now. Making a splash, wow, who gonna stop me how? Only Mo, and that's an easy no. So back to the riches, and ducking these itches. Who watch the stupid hate, while using their own vice as bait. To take another great, yes, expose these goons. I mean fools who forgot, realize, realize, realize of all the aging species, even you feces. Buried on the wide away 24 7, but sleep like sore legs, jumping like glass, and all side performance is pretty X. Watch this, I'll drill facts on this cataract, not even MJ can extract. Woo! So clear your eyes and keep watching. Just stop the pointing and assuming before it makes the ass out of you. And don't like the heads up? Does it make me look like I know just a little bit too much? Man, that's just brunch. Let's go to dinner and I'll give you the dessert. Fool, oops, did I pick a color? Hell nah. That's up gay shit and just another game called a Grand Theft Auto. It's like our minds are an auto pick and going with the next train on the draft board. Get me in the room. I'll show you why two eyes are better than one. They kill two worlds with one stone. Crack, crack. Crack it into a rock and call it the oh wait. I'll just use a blueprint and match my P's and Q's. What the? What's that fucking rump is doing at 469? Oh my! It's too good to be true! 3D! HD! Fit your perfect on you too! Like what is real to you? Is he who you say you are? I pray so. And to the family and friends who still haven't realized these eyes see all your lies. And some more. Take your mumbling, stuttering, tucking in your breath, paranoid, talking behind my back, hating, plotting, Facebooking, egging shit on for attention. Can't take in what they've been dishing out for years. Asses on somewhere. Before karma comes back, it takes it out on you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think I can sing too to these bitches. That ain't bad bitches no more And want to fulfill their destiny And be the queens of their thrones Kings Just want to close at the shows That flow from the door Ain't nothing mo Call them hoes Not even this no pussy game Blogger wants those Unless he's a whopper And a wolf beer float Then in the blink of an eye She'll have this small fight Halfway past her teeth 
Ha! Told you this was a laughing matter. And while I'm laughing even harder, check out episode two for the inside scoop on how we ended up on the moon. Then hopefully soon, the terrorist cop, superhuman toss, can be put to rest. And the real test can begin. And I can employ 100k and stop begging and praying you'll be okay. Except for those blind for a black mode. So funny, blowing it, so called day one, homie. Let's see these plans. Honestly, you're making me laugh hysterically. Like the Tony Gonzalez thing where he ended up crying in front of everybody. Whoo! Stupid bitch, now you've lost your privileges of even being around these riches, little bitch. Excuse my language, I'm mad, but I ain't stressing. True friends, think long term, don't be a lab ass. Sell t shirts for $25 a pop, who do you think you are? Oh, that's right, a local ass bitch. I'm not even a rapper and I'ma put you in your ditch, fuck boys. Don't toll with me, I hustle my engineering degree. You think you're a challenge for me? Shut up before I fornicate on all these so called teams and their lifelong dreams that only see I. Yes, guys, which I did you get to know? This is Mo. Better wake up before I blow up and go on a killing spree and take away these suckers' abilities. Avatar Mo, this ain't no joke. These average corporate Joes really take away our alpha's hopes and dreams because they envy and jealousy and they hurt feelings. Well, they gonna be longing for peace and mercy when I'm on the scene because I'm exposing every little tendency down to how they pick their teeth. And I'm changing the definition of the streets so everybody can eat paranoid free. Y'all feel me? And now that you know me, can y'all crown me? So I can set my town as a mo free and we can bring back the 90s and live in peace and harmony and cut the irony and just be like it used to be. But that means you owe me some money according to Mr. Kill Everything. He ain't lying and I ain't either. But I say thank you to everybody for elevating Mo before the world gets to witness the greatness of Mo. And I don't think I can be kept a secret anymore. And let y'all feel I ain't ready and I still need to grow. Then in that case, no worries. Just do me a favor and don't use another man's opinion of Mo as your own. These flying clowns and wannabe cash cows will say anything to feel important. So excuse them and let's make an appointment and get to the die line so I can get to the bottom line and get behind the desk and cut these checks. Psych, I love this way too much. But I'm still gonna cut the checks though. All day I dream about success. You can too. Shit. Y'all need to send this around y'all's little group message. Ha ha ha.